The process of getting a coronavirus vaccine is still confusing and frustrating for many older Ohioans. News 5's Jay Jarvis spoke to health officials in Lorain County about what they're doing to keep up with the demand and to find solutions for the confusion. Every county is handling their vaccine rollout differently and trying to come up with a plan that works best for their residents. Lorain County officials are urging people to be patient and to stay informed. I'm thankful that I got the shot, but there's got to be a better way. Last Thursday, 78 year old Reed Hinman says he got the email he'd been waiting weeks for. Lorain County Public Health invited him to a COVID-19 vaccine clinic at Lorain County Community College Saturday. As my wife and I registered everywhere we can think of, and that was the first response we got from anyone. The email told Hinman to arrive between 10 and 11 o'clock, but the lines at the clinic were so long, he waited three hours. It was so cold. I mean, it was, there were people in, with walkers, people in wheelchairs, people with canes. The county sends vaccine clinic email invites to people who register with the health department, asking them to come during certain time periods. Health Commissioner Dave Koval says sometimes people don't always follow that guidance. Sometimes people come three hours early. And so that causes the entire system to kind of back up. He says people also shared Saturday's clinic invite on social media. Please don't share. We're, we're, we're sending that out to you as an invitation. And when you share it, then other folks may show up that, that we don't have capacity for. Officials are making changes for future clinics to make sure what happened to Hinman doesn't happen to anyone else. We're going to have people stay in their cars and we'll give them a little card and then we'll ask them all to come in at a particular time. Hinman is supposed to go back for his second dose in three weeks. He's hoping the process is smoother and more comfortable. Lorraine County Health Department's the only one so far that's that's come through. Colvill says the county is partnering with churches and senior centers to reach older people who don't have internet access to get them signed up for vaccinations. Jay Jarvis, News 5.